Hey folks, I thought I'd show you how to change the resolution on your Raspberry Pi really quick. Um, I know it's not as easy as doing it on a Mac or Windows, but it, it's not that painful if you know where to look. If we click here and open up our terminal, the first thing we want to do to do it right is we want to go back to our default settings. And in order to do that, we have to modify the config file. And in order to do that, we have to open it up with our favorite text editor. Now, since some of you are beginners, I'm going to use Nano. There's other editors, and you know the more advanced propeller heads will argue which one's better. Doesn't matter right now. Okay, so we go. We start off with sudo super user do nano, and then we type boot config.txt. That should open up our boot config file. And in here, we can scroll down and look for our HDMI group and our HDMI mode. Here we go. Now, I'm already in that mode, but I thought I'd show it to you. Okay. If, it, if you got little number signs, which um, you guys, I guess, like to call them hash marks, get rid of them. Okay. Because this is what allows you to check it. If you don't do that, it's just going to change its mode automatically according to what it thinks is best. If you're okay with that, then cool, but otherwise, you'll want to change this yourself. Now here, you can change this mode, this number here, and you change it to the default, just one and one, and that's what puts you in the mode that we're in, okay? So that's how you change it. Then you, of course, you hit Control X, just like it says here. That's Control and X, and it'll ask you if you want to save it, you type yes. I'm going to type no because I didn't change anything. Okay, but you type yes. Actually, we can do it. Look, yes. And then it asks you what file to save, and you hit enter, and it saves the file. Okay. And then, of course, you go sudo shutdown r dash r now. And if I did that, it's going to reboot the whole thing. You don't really need to see that, because uh, but you can do that once you're back up and you're in the default mode. We can go ahead now, and from here, we can look at what is available. Okay, and the two commands you can run to figure out what's available begin with the word TV service. TV dash M, and then DMT will give you all the modes under DMT. DMT is a mode that was supposed to be for computer monitors. Okay. We do the same thing, but now we change the mode to CEA. And CEA was supposed to be the mode that was for television sets. Didn't matter. Now there's so much overlap, really it doesn't mean much. Maybe for text, for technical reasons there might be, but for most of us, it doesn't matter. Okay. All that you care right now is that what you're looking at in this list are the actual modes that your, that your screen, it, it, it has basically, your system has basically determined what modes are at least somewhat compatible. The keyword there is somewhat. <laughs> okay, most of these modes are going to be downright terrible for your monitor. They're going to flicker. They're not going to look good. Your numbers are going to look like all wobbly and stuff. But at least you can see something. The ones that are probably going to be the best are going to be the ones that say prefer. Sometimes they'll say native, which supposedly is like the best mode to use. Okay. Now, the one way that you should also make up your mind is you should probably look up the resol the mo the uh, specifications for your monitor. For example, the monitors that I'm using, it has a maximum res resolution of 1920 by 1200 at 60 hertz, and I think it's got 148 megahertz clock speed. I don't remember that part. Part. This is these are these numbers here. These three numbers are actually the most important. Oh, well, actually, the well, this if you do the math, you'll notice that this translates to a 16 by 10 uh, aspect ratio. But you know, that's you know secondary. The, the, unfortunately, this resolution is not available to us from these modes, as you can tell. That there nothing there is 1920 by 1200. Closest thing we have is 1920 by 1080, and that is one of the modes that we will select but this one is not. We can fiddle with the settings. There are a lot of settings in the config file that you can play with. And in theory, you should be able to get it to 
use 1920 by 1200 at 60. Um, but the, I'll leave that for uh, some of you more adventurous folks. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll show you a video here where you can see if you ever screw up your settings where your monitor doesn't, you, you can't see anything, because sometimes that'll happen. If you really screw it up, you can go ahead and go to the config file and undo your settings. So check this out. Okay, so here we are at the boot up. And as soon as we see this screen here, we hit the shift. And so now we are in the config screen and we can click on here, up here, edit config. And that will send us to the config text which we saw in our terminal. It's exactly the same file. And here you can go ahead and change the default settings. Okay, you can change them one to one and one, and that will fix any problems you have with the resolution. That should be able to get you back to the screen in case, like I said, if your screen's not showing up. Now, once again, I, let me apologize for the whole uh, shaky camera there. I, I, I had to hold it with my hand. I didn't have a tripod or anything, so sorry about that. But uh, let's get back to the desktop. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> so. Once we've decided which mode we want to test, we probably want the mode that gives us the highest resolution, okay, and at the same time is at least readable. Like I said, in this case, the 1920 by 1080 is actually, I like it because I can read pretty small. Some of you may actually not like it. You may wish, you may want to get the next biggest mode. And in this case, if you pay attention, you're going to notice that the next best mode is mode 35. There's the other modes that are 1280s, but those are 1280 by 720. This one is 1280 by 1024. Um, yeah, it doesn't say prefer or native, but we, that's exactly why we can go ahead and test it. So once you've noticed what mode you have available, write it down on a piece of paper so that you can go into your config file and change it. Okay, so you're going to boom, boom, scrolling up. There we go, config and we can change it. Now, your config file, remember that it asks you for a group number and it asks you for a, uh, let me go ahead and, I'll, I'll show you, okay? So once you're in the config file, okay, it's gonna ask you for the HDMI group and the HDMI mode, okay? The group number, okay. We set our group to group two for DMT and our mode, to mode 35, and that's going to give us the resolution that we requested, which is 1280 by 1024 at 60 hertz. And that should be the next best resolution below the top one, okay? Of course, unless you want the highest resolution, which you can also try for. But anyway, once we're done, we hit Control X. We hit Yes, or Y, actually, Y. And then here we just hit Enter. We're out. We say sudo shutdown dash r now. And there it is, it's going away. In case you didn't notice, um, I was able to just get those commands immediately because, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, you can access past commands straight from the mem from the history by going hitting the up or the down. Okay, folks, and as you can tell, as a matter of fact, here we go. Now it's fitting into the entire screen we have here. As a matter of fact, it doesn't fit entirely because we have the bottom end. Our bottom end. Anyway, that the point is, of course, that we've got the higher resolution. It looks like everything looks a little better here. It looks a lot more workable. Okay. And if we have any doubts about what's going on, we can always type TV service. Dash S, and that tells us what our mode is currently. So, success, we were able to set it up. Now, here's one other thing you might want to do. You might want to occasionally switch between settings, and although, like I said, there's no easy way to do it from here, um, you can at least get the, as close as possible by setting up your uh, kind of what I would call a quick configuration right from here, okay, so that if you need it, you can just grab it as you need it. How do you do it? Well, let's go ahead and open up our boot config file and I'll show you. Okay, so 
no sudo now boot config.txt here's the config file in here down here where it says our group in our mode we go ahead and we write a comment right above it here okay and what we do is we write the comment saying use whatever you want to remind you and so you just say use I'll write it in all caps so I can see it this mode for LCD monitor um, and I will call it um, my plexi monitor and that's because if you guys know we made these monitors uh, with plexiglass so that's how I know this because say you want to plug into a different monitor uh, say you want to plug into a TV that's what I was going to say is you can now set up another comment line here and say use this mode for say uh, the living room room TV and then you go through the same process which is let's just assume that at the TV your best mode there is probably going to be something like um, CEA mode 16 so we say CEA is number one of course you would know this by now so HDMI group equals one and HDMI mode equals it said 16 and the only thing you need to remember is you can only keep one of these active at any point so whichever one you're not using you comment out and when I say comment out I mean you put a little number sign in front of it or for you Twitter fans and put a hashtag Blech. what a horrible smell I think the British actually use it and then it's not a trendy word anyway so that's the other thing you can do. So this way you will have your little settings here available to you. So that all you do is you just jump into the config before you boot up. Remember what I showed you just a couple minutes ago. You can just go straight into the config file before you boot up and change your settings there for whatever you need. Okay. Now, here's one other thing you may need. Okay, and I'm going to show you by changing this mode. Okay. So I'm going to change, I'm going to add another one, and that's going to be use this mode for high resolution LCD monitor plexi and what that is is it's uh, is this is going to be I have two different resolutions for my plexi monitor okay so HDMI group okay and I would select and then HDMI mode 16. Remember, you can only have one of these at any point. If you leave more than one open, it will probably only read one of them, and you won't get the mode you want. So only leave one of these HDMI group and mode unchecked. All the others should be um, numbered out or commented. We, we use the term commented out. Okay. So as you notice, they're all like that. So the next time that this reboots, it's going to reboot in this mode, uh, 1 and 16, and that is 1920 by 1080. So it's the highest resolution. Okay, so I'll go ahead and set it up. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so we go Control X. Yes, we hit Enter, and then we say sudo shutdown dash on now. And it's going away. Okay, so here's the here's the way it looks on the screen on my on my screen. But here's the problem is on the actual monitor that I'm looking at that's right beside me, a lot of this part here is actually off the side of the page. It's like this. It looks in other words, on your screen, it would look like this. Yeah, that's I guess that's a good way to see it. So it would look like this. It would look like part of this monitor is actually off the edge of the screen for you. Okay. If you notice this when you change your resolution, where it looks like you know your icons are kind of like flowing off the edge of the screen, 
The reason you're getting this is because your screen resolution needs something that we call overscan. Okay. So we are here. Okay. And this time we go into our config file. And in the mode that we have at the highest resolution where we will have that, where like I told you, that's where I have the problem. At the other resolution, I actually don't have that problem, so I'm not going to mess with those. Okay, but this high resolution mode, what I will do is I will add some extra lines, and those extra lines are coming from up here. Now I can change them here, but I'd rather just keep everything in one place, okay, because it makes it easier for me. Now keep in mind what I just told you, which is that these overscan settings, I already figured them out. If you notice that it's not showing up the right way, like I said, if you notice that your icons are off the edge of the screen like this, then you'll have to figure out which settings are best for you. You can try mines and see if they work. They might get you close. But try them out, see if they help. Of course, once you get, if you're not in this mode, just make sure and comment them out. And so now notice we've got these three entries in our screen here, okay? And that is we've got um, you know we've got 116, we've got 235, and all of this. Now, if ever we need to boot into another monitor, into another um, TV, we can select modes for that right from here. Now here's another thing you may may not have remembered, uh, you may not have thought about, which is sometimes it's best just to comment all of these modes out. Okay, so what you do is you just put a comment in front of all of these, and that is just if you're just nothing is working, you number out all the HDMI group and mode and overscans. So notice how everything is commented out now. If you comment everything out, it will not read this. All that it will do is that it will look for whatever works, and it'll go with whatever works. Instead of listening to you, it will just do it what it thinks is best. Sometimes that may actually be the best thing to do. Okay, so if nothing else works, try that out too. Okay, so let's go ahead and okay, control X, yes. Enter. Of course, reboot. And the next time it comes back up, it will be at high resolution. Okay, so I hope that helped out. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Okay, bye.